Ooh. Wow. Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Fez, and I'm going to be reacting to some of Universal TV's hottest medical shows, Transplant and Nurses. Seeing if they've nailed all the medical detail. Honestly, I can't wait to get into it. You have a skull fracture on the same side as a blown pupil. This is cool. Like this is where Dr. Fez comes through strong. It's where there's been trauma to the head. You can damage some of the vessels that are actually in the brain. And what can then happen is that there can be a bleed that's there, which we call a hematoma. You can have that bleed kind of pushing down on the brain. And there's only really one area where the brain can kind of move in and out. And that's the foramen magnum, the hole at the base of your skull. And when things push through there, you cone and you could potentially die. So this is a sign of something like that happening and you ideally want to to relieve that pressure um, or the person could potentially just die. If I don't relieve the pressure right now, you're going to die. <coughs> Ooh. Wow. So he's he's actually doing it's, a, it's, it's called like a borehole. Um, I won't lie, I don't have the stones to do this. Uh, granted, hypothetically, in terms of relieving pressure, he's doing exactly what you want to do. But I mean, in a setting like this, you could bore too deep, you could maybe hit other structures. But I guess in a situation where you're hypothetically talking life or death, you gotta throw everything at it. And now we're at the, the hospital. This is where the good stuff comes in. I need you to wait right here, get medical attention, and then give a statement to the police about the accident. Do you understand me? CT is not looking good. He's fading fast. Let's check this out. I think he's got a drill hole in his skull. Significant epidural hematoma. Significant epidural hematoma. I mean, I don't know if you guys were doubting my doctor skills, but as you can see, I pretty much nailed that one. Epidural means that it's up there, that one of the meningeal arteries, likely the middle meningeal, um, was actually injured, and that's where the bleeding came from, and it's significant enough that, as I said, caused the pressure, pressure causes all those structures to be pushed down, and then the eye was blown. Well, we're doing our best to keep you updated on all of your relatives. We're doing everything we can, and we ask for your patience. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm looking for my son, Nathan Ritchie. Mr. Ritchie? Yes? My name's Nas. I'm going to be taking your vitals. I just bumped my head. Uh, please go take care of my students. Acute head trauma is a priority. We have to rule out parentesia, otoria. Head traumas, you can change so quickly with them. You think you're fine, pressure builds up, you tip over. Really, I'm, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me, besides the fact I can't see anything. You're experiencing vision loss? Okay, that could be stroke or retinal detachment. Or my glasses, I, they fell off. I'm totally blind without them. Right, of course, <laughs> sorry. Is everyone okay? We're still assessing injuries. Yeah, please just uh, go take care of my students. I will, right after I give you a full neuro workup. But in order to do that, I'm gonna need a bad night. Be right back. The nurse, uh, if you see my, um, my, my, um, fraggled, just see me. Okay. There's bleeds, uh, things like uh, subarachnoid hemorrhages um, can be quite sudden um, that a person deteriorates and is kind of going into what looks like seizures in his case, but that's just because of that shift um, in, in the neurological function. They're talking about the blown pupils. So pupils that are blown, that cranial nerve, that third one, could be because of that increased pressure that's there and the pressure is there because there's blood that's actively kind of just bleeding into that space, causing the brain to start kind of drifting down and trying to fit through the base of the skull, um, that foramen magnum, um, that could then lead to coning, coning leads to death. So this is a very, very big emergency. And it's things like that where people take it for granted, oh, I just bumped my head. Um, other people were injured within, that, within this incident. So you must always try to rule out any potential catastrophe, and then you can start looking at other people because head injuries can literally change drop of a dime. Well, there you have it guys, those are my diagnoses and just my assessment of transplant and nurses. That's me Dr. Fez. I'm giving it one of these.